Hey everybody, Desk Doctor here. So today I'm going to start the brake upgrade. So the first thing I actually have to do is get the old rotors off the front wheel. So I took the motorcycle off the front stand because to, to change the wheel, I got to take the lock off the front stand so it's just easier to and quicker to take the bike down and put it on the floor to do that. So the first thing we have to do is loosen off the uh, brake calipers because they will make it impossible to get the rotors off. So even though I'm not using these uh, calipers anymore, I don't like to put strain on the on the brake lines by having them hang, hung by the uh, weight of the calipers. So it's just something I've always done. So before I take the axle off, of course you have to loosen the pinch bolts. Now these you don't actually have to completely remove, but they need to be completely loose. So the last thing of course is the uh, axle bolt and those are always done pretty tight so I shall have to get in the Once you break it, it's actually pretty easy to, to back it off. Let's go away here so it's easier to see. Hang on, there we go. There we go, it's out of the way. Now this is a little tip we use when we are racing. <clears throat> Quickest way to get, get an axle out. And there you go. Now I'm going to uh, grease this ball all back up again. But now it's time for new rotors. Okay, so the next thing to do, of course, is remove the discs from the, uh, the wheel. And it's just a simple socket bolt. These actually do have a little bit of Loctite on them. And they are, of course, torqued. All right, there you go. Now with the disc off, I'm going to take a, a few minutes to actually uh, clean the wheel because I don't know really are able to get around here. So I'm going to give this sucker a good cleaning before I put it back together again. And I'll clean the, uh, the bolts and when I go to assemble them, I'll be able to put more Loctite on them. So I'll put the uh, new disc on the uh, bike. And in case you notice, it's actually rattling the uh, the old disc. It's been on for so long and got caught in so many rainstorms, it actually had started to seize up too. Okay, so even though those have so even though those have Loctite in them, there is actually a torque value. So we are going to torque them. It's uh, fourteen foot pounds, or I believe it's twenty newton meters or something like that. 
It's actually not very high, but okay, so there you have it. That's the one side done. Now I'm just going to switch over and do the other. Alright, so the, uh, the rotors are now installed, torqued properly, loctited, and I've also, just so you know, as I, I used a little uh, brake cleaner and just wiped down the uh, rotors like this, I just didn't do it on a camera because I didn't want to shoot the camera with the contact with the brake cleaner, just to make sure that these things are all cleaned off. A lot of times, uh, uh, discs that come new, they usually have a protective coating on them to protect them from for travel, and they might be sitting on shelves for months in salt environments, so they protect them to get uh, corrosion and whatnot on them. So you just wipe them down just to make certain, because the last thing you want to do the first time you go to use them, you hit the brakes and find out you have a film coating of oil on your brakes. So let's put this uh, wheel back on. So it's time to put the wheel back on. And I always put a little bit of grease on the uh, axle. I realize it doesn't uh, doesn't actually move, but things move on it. So you always just want to put a little oil just so it uh, stays lubricated. And more importantly, it is easier to disassemble when you have to pull the uh, Pull the wheel off. Of course, your uh, your wheel actually has a direction on it, so you want to make certain you want to make certain that you put the correct side on the correct side. And I believe it says right here, direction travel. There we go. And you always want to make sure it's moved freely, which it is. So, so the first thing you have to do is actually torque down the main axle bolt, which is 43 foot-pounds. And then, and of course the last part is your axle pinch bolts. So normally what I would do is I would take these brake calipers and put them back on the bike and torque them down properly like uh, you would do normally after like a, a brake job. But these are getting replaced. So what I'm going to do is just sort of slap them in and then I'm gonna take the bike off the stand, put it up on the lift so I can work at it without killing my knees bending down here. So I'm gonna stop right now because this video is getting a little bit on the long side and I'm gonna continue with the, uh, the brake upgrade with the next video.